Bali's airport closed for a second day in a row as smoke spews from this volcano. And there's more concern today that our major eruption could be imminent. Smoke and ash spewing from the volcano, which began erupting last week. Signs of glowing lava spotted overnight. About 100,000 people living near the volcano urged to evacuate what's called the exclusion zone within about 10 kilometers of the volcano. <laughs> As for the thousands of tourists stranded here, the closure of Bali's international airport now extended until at least tomorrow. In effect, in a high-profile speech today in Myanmar, Pope Francis did not use the word Rohingya, possibly over concern the term could spark diplomatic upset. The Pope did call for, quote, respect for each ethnic group and identity, but he avoided the name for the segment of Myanmar's population that's fled the country in huge numbers amid what the UN calls ethnic cleansing. The Pope is expected to meet with some of the more than 600,000 Rohingya refugees when he visits Bangladesh later this week. Sometimes, you know, in a climate where we're surrounded by a lot of bad news, it's a real joy to have a bit of good news for once. William and I are absolutely thrilled. Uh, it's such exciting news. More warm words coming from the British royal family today as we're learning more about wedding plans for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The couple will say I do at Windsor Castle's St. George's Chapel in May 2018. Oh, I love it. After the wedding, American-born Markle intends to become a UK citizen. America's loss is our gain, and we're all absolutely delighted. And the happy couple will be getting to work together starting on Friday. Kensington Palace tweeting that Prince Harry and Miss Markle will be undertaking their first official engagements together then.